Welcome to the Zoning Board of August 22nd, 2017. My name is Marty Akins. I'm the chair to my left, sitting in as vice chair, Mr. O'Brien, Mr. Chin, Mr. Himmel, Mr. Frankel, Mr. Radell on the back. For inspectional services, we have Mr. Conlon. To my right, your left, Miss Murphy is our clerk. If anyone has a cell phone or a pager, could you please put it on silent or vibrate? <clears throat> Not to interrupt the meeting, if anyone wants to talk, please step outside. You have to speak loud, we do not have any microphones. If anyone's going to testify tonight, please stand up and raise your hand, take an oath. So you want to testify, please stand. If anyone wants to testify, take an oath, please. Repeat after me, I. I. Some we swear. Tell the truth and the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Thank you. So I know old business. Huh? I said so hold me die. Uh yeah. First of all, I have uh, in the new business case number Z seventeen eighty one. John Smith for special permit floodplain finding to change the use of the garage to a single family home in a floodplain overlay district. On premise number 31 Babcock Street. I have a letter here from the counselor and the lawyer. They'd like to move this to September 12th. Do I have a motion, please? Mr. Chairman, regarding the <coughs> C17 81 Donald C. Smith for a special permit, floodplain finding to change the use of a garage to a single family home in the floodplain overlay district on premises number 31 Babcock Street, Quincy. I make a motion to continue the case until September 12th. Second. On the second and on the motion, seeing none, all in favor? Thank you. Opposed? So moved. <laughs> if there's anyone here for Bad Park, that will be September 12th. Thank you. Thank you. I know business, Z1737. Ryan Zangi for a finding to demolish the existing home, reconstruct the original footprint with the vertical extension, structural changes on the premise number 153 Bayside. We have to have Representative Dick. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the board. Uh, David Sumi for Ronan Zangi. And Mr. Zangi is here, as well as Irina Matuli, uh, the architect. Um, <clears throat> we have um, a revised set of plans for the board's consideration. Okay. We were able to shrink it somewhat, and I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, could you uh, submit? Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. 
um, I did just, there were a couple things that the board asked us to, to look at and do. So um, there was a question about the condition of the outside of the house. So we did um, uh, go in there and basically clean everything up from the outside. We wanted to obviously respect the board's request there. Um, and um, there was also a question about um, the prior garage variance that was granted. Right. So just for the record, I wanted to put this in. This is from the prior variance here in the regarding the garage. Right, and that was caused a little bit of confusion about what was approved last time. In fact, what that shows, what, what, what that shows is that it was just the garage that was approved on a two-story basis. The house was shown on the plans, but it was really just to depict what was there. So, um, so Mr. Zagney does have the right to actually build that garage. The variance was extended. Um, so he's already kind of at the same height. What we're proposing from the garage perspective is actually a little bit smaller than the garage that's going to be. Um, I know, I look at it. So, um, and obviously, you know, we do respect the, the, the city council's position. We understand he's mm -hmm. advocating for, you know, part of his constituency. Um, we can't always reach agreement on these things. We respect his position, but um, we do think we should um, get approval on it. Um, and um, uh, those are the main points, and if you have questions, we'd be happy to take them. I mean, I, I've spent probably more time in this house than any house in Quincy in the last two years. And, uh, and I, I, I really didn't like my own decision in the beginning what I did as a board member, as one. But we agreed on that. And uh, what you've done We've tried to do this the best we could. I think you've done everything we've tried to ask you. And it's, it's, you can only do so much. I understand that. you got to build a house in the area. And I understand that. And I also understand the people in the back I'm happy. I mean, people built in front of me. And it just happens. That's what, that's what you get. I had 10 good years. So, uh, but, uh, and I even approved two houses on the right, which really need a lot of variances, but I thought it was good for the neighborhood. And uh, <coughs> when I proved that, I lost my whole view of Rockland Island and, and, and the ocean. It was good for the neighborhood. And, and it's tough when you live behind people and you have to do this, but I didn't buy that property. And people have to realize they didn't buy that property in front. If they did, they could do what they want. And people do have a right to build a home. And I think we spent way too much time I've seen a lot of things. I've sat with Mr. Connell and I've sat with Mr. Duca. We spent umpteen hours in this room uh, and, and looking at the law and, and what we can do to make this a home livable and at the right, it's right for everybody there. And, and, and really, I think what you come up with is about the best we can do. Uh, I'm happy we did. We got something out of it. Like I said, the first decision might not have been as, as, as smart as I thought, but it is what it is. It's part of the record. So, uh, and that's included in the house. Any questions? Uh, no, not at this time. Any questions? You can have a seat. Thank you. Uh, we've had many hearings on this. The only one I'm, I'm going to allow to speak on this is the counselor, all the people, as this is an inch smaller than the last print that was changed. Council? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Agnes. Mm -hmm. I really feel that actually the people that are here should be able to speak. And I, I disagree with that, mm -hmm. little, but respectfully. Okay. Um, as far as the pictures that you, you were shown, mm -hmm. as far as you know how the property was taken care of. It was done like a week and a half ago. So it's a sham. I'm sorry. Um, it truly is. Because weren't they supposed to meet with the, with the board counselor? I have an email that was twisted by the gentleman behind me. It was twisted to say that I was not in agreement with meeting with him. But that isn't the case. No, I, 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 it should have been. I know you. I, and you would meet with him. 
Absolutely. In fact, in the first meeting, the, the first community meeting was um, held before we met the last time. Mm -hmm. And um, it just, unfortunately, the um, Kennedy Center wasn't open. I found a way to get the Nickerson Post so the meeting could take place. Okay. This has been so dragged out that the folks who are, uh, I mean, it's almost like being worn down. Yeah. The folks down here that, I mean, you know, and, I get you. you know, and the McManuses that are here, it's, this is, you know, if you think that there's any compromise there, there wasn't. And, and you know what, my fear is that this is going to happen again. Uh, and the fact that the Ward Counselor was not, and I, I gave them warning that I had, I, I sent an email that made it quite clear that this is a busy time of the year, especially for anybody who's off vacations, people who are off, to get a true picture of all the um, opponents or proponents of the, of, the pro, of the project. I have a strange suspicion that, um, you know, strange suspicion with this, that all of a sudden, if approved, this is a flip house. This is going to be flipped. I'm, I'm, I'm almost 100% positive on it. And the fact that those pictures that they just presented to you is unacceptable. Because, and I'm going to hold, and I'm going to say this right now for the record, mm -hmm. I'm going to hold special services to assure that this and any job that's going on in my ward, so it's not blanketed to one person, it's going to be held accountable for every inch that goes on. If it's one inch off, I'm going to demand that something is done if this is passed. Because it sounds like it's going to be passed find it unacceptable how this has happened, especially to folks who've been in the neighborhood. I thank you for your time. Do not uh, take my, uh, <laughs> my, my, I understand. It's like my frustration. Your passion. Your passion. I get it's about family. You know, yes, I've, I've stood up in front of this board <laughs> and talked about family. And, and if a family's going to move into that house, that's, that's doing this, you know, I can find a little grace with that because mm -hmm. I've always stood up. Can, but, you, can, you, can you just answer me one question? Sure. Why, why do you think it's going to be flipped and it's not? He says he's going to live. Just for the fact that, just for the fact from the, from the, from the beginning, mm -hmm. it's always been the fact that they held a meeting. We don't even know, they held a meeting, they didn't, they held their own meeting. And I don't know if they think it was a community meeting. I was outside. I had somewhere to go that night. I was able to greet the people that were coming in. Mm -hmm. I didn't go into that meeting. That meeting, whether they thought that that was the community meeting to come up in front of you folks, mm -hmm. there was no community meeting. And, and, and Mr. Akins, Monty, you made it clear. And the Ward 6 Council was left out of it. Whether right. they say I was or what. No, right. I have the email. You're right. You know, and they You're wanted right. to make it out that I blew them off. That's not the case. Right. I appreciate your time. And since we've worked, I, I, I've known you, and I got to know you, and I got to know what you're about, and that would never happen. That would never happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the board. Um, please please I do sit have, I do have a couple questions. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Um, would the applicant please stand up? I want to ask him a few questions. Why does the council think you're going to flip this house and they're not going to flip this house? I have no idea. It's a free company. I, I want to live there, but you think I want to flip it? If I decide to flip it, it's my own money, my own house. No, I there is a difference. I, there really is a difference. You're sitting in front of us asking us to give you something, yeah. and the difference between flipping it is it. It's not to come to get granted a variance for a, for a home and then flip it. That's not what this place is for. It's not for that. It's for you to live in your home and sit there and live in it That's and enjoy right. it. I love the view. I bought it for me and my wife and my baby. And my parents to live here. But so you're going to swear you're going to stay there and live in that house? Is that what you're going to do? I'm going to live in that house. I'll take your word for it. And God forbid you flip it and try to come back here for something, because that will never happen, as long as I'm sitting in one of those chairs. So I hope you enjoy the neighborhood, because I'm going to be voting in the But I hope to God you're driving me. 
We also disagree, even though we had the meeting, and I had little support because the neighbor likes me. Mm -hmm. They want me, they even invite my parents and stuff. So mm -hmm. My parents here have a barbecue with uh, the one on the left side. And he say, you know, the, you know, this is a fake, this is fake. This is, you have no right to say it. You're supposed to be neutral. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Let's 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 not get Excuse crazy. Excuse me. Okay. I just think I just think I have a chance. I really will. I have the right to talk. You talk. I have the right to talk. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a it. chance. Relax. It's America. I I promise you that. We're not here to debate this, but I want to know, sitting here as a board member, vote because this place is about community. It's about people moving in our community, and if we can move a line a couple feet and to do something to make it a little better for a home for them and the neighbor and someone's daughter and something. That's what this is really for. It's not for people to come in here and make money on it. It's not. So, uh, like I, I asked you that before and you said you were going to move in there. Yes, yeah, but like I you bought it to you. I bought it extensive. If I, if oh, I, but that's, if I, I took the word for it. cost me $700,000. How can I sell it for, what would I sell it for? Two million? I can't. This is for living. It's 615, I already have Karen caught it's $700,000 with the lawyer fee and everything, and I have to build it. That's going to cost another well, six, seven. Why you should have took his fee up. That's my 1.3 million. I don't even want to sell it. They don't even have other comps for this. I get it. So, I mean, we know that. We get it all. We get it all. I just asked you a question. That's all. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mr. Harris, you get something to say, go I'll give you the last. May I ask a question about the uh, garage? Is it, is it one? Is it a one-car garage like was asked? At the exactly. Last? Here's a new it's two. It, it's two though. It's two. But we asked for one. Right. Correct. Right. That's not. No. And as far as me saying something was fake, um, on the record, thank goodness, mm -hmm. uh, never happened. Right. So, uh, you know. <laughs> Give me that. Uh, that's all I have to I say. Get it. And, and there was people there was people present at that meeting. I know. We were all here. And at that meeting there were a lot of people, a lot of talk, a lot of, a lot of innuendos and people talking. And we get it. I get it. You know, we're not here to make people money. We're here to make a better community and people live in our community. And, and let's hope that the house, he's going to be one of your constituents, and I hope these two get along great. You can support your council once you move in because he's a great guy. Uh, I'm going to be voting for it. I think we've been here long enough. I think it's, the, the property is what it is. Uh, Mr. Conlon, do you have anything to add? Uh, basically, this is just here for a filing. I've been working with the architect for well over a year, and this has all been driven by the change in the flood maps. <coughs> which was in the velocity zone, she waited until March, maps changed in March, mm -hmm. which allowed them to drop the building about right. five feet. Right. But she now has a two and a half story house. Right. Which we were three and a half in the beginning. Right. And so they wouldn't need a variance, right. we're just here for a filing. Exactly. Thank you. So, seeing that, I'll leave it open to Likewise, I think what we can get out of things to me that they put in what they, they can do. Not everybody can be happy, I'm sure, because it's, <coughs> new, it's bigger than what's there. So I likewise would be voting in favor. As well. Can I have a motion, please? Mr. Chairman, regarding case number Z-17-37, Ronan Zangi for a finding to demolish the existing home or reconstruct the original footprint with the vertical extensions and structural changes on the premises number 153 Bayside Road, I'd like to make a motion to grant a requested fine. One second. Eight. Second. On motion, see you then. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No more. Thank you. Yep. <coughs> For everyone, it's a nice hearing. Uh, Mr. Chin, can you sit up? Mr. Ray Dell. Good night, folks. Good night, Council. Thank you for your time. Mark, Mark. Thanks. I'm happy to be out here. Thank you.
Okay. Case number Z17, 78, duty change for fining. Expand the restaurant into the retail area of the property and the premises number 663, 681 Hancock Street. The applicant and representative here. Good evening, Mr. Huh? Chairman, honorable members of the record. My name is Attorney Jack Indoma. I'm here this evening on behalf of the applicant. I have before the board this evening my client's request for a finding or a change of use at 675 and 677 Hancock Street from, um, from retail to restaurant, which will allow my client to expand the existing China restaurant into the uh, adjoining two existing storefronts. As you can see from the plans that have previously <coughs> filed, my client proposes to do is to open the wall between the existing China and the next adjoining storefront. My client proposes to demolish the wall, the interior wall, between the, the two interior <coughs> storefronts. She'll be um, removing the two uh, front entrances on Hancock Street. She'll be removing a toilet, I believe, in uh, 675 Hancock Street. Um, and will be added uh, a total of 20 seats. Um, to be clear, there's a basement um, underneath the China that's used for storage and uh, that will continue to be used for storage. There's also a divide, there's a dividing wall between that basement and um, 675 and 677, which also has a basement that's used for storage. That wall is not going to, is going to remain, it's not going to be go through. Both basements will be used for storage. Who's bad out there? <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Sorry, Mr. Miller. Thank you. Um, since the China is open, uh, the business has done well. It, it supports uh, the expansion, and this is what um, the outfit is looking to do. At so, this time. the basement, the storage, they'll have to come into the new area and get on that basement, correct? I'm sorry? Because they don't, they don't connect to you. They don't connect, that's so correct. So, you have to come to the new one to get on. So if you're going to go from one to the other, that, that's correct, sir. Any questions? I have, I have two, two questions. Yeah. So if, the, the first one is, are you going to need a bigger dumpster in there because of the expansion of the, um, because of the increased uh, number of customers and food that you're going to be serving? No, we can I, just I, increase the frequency. Okay. It's already. All right, so you're going to have a, We can just increase the frequency. Of okay, the only reason I'm asking that is because the last time you were with Forest History, is um, the neighbors in the, on the side street there had complained about um, overflow on the yeah. dump stuff. Yeah. That, that was the last time. Oh, there's no, there's saying, no point in the debate to pass. Right. So, this is right. With the so, I'm just, yeah. so what I'm doing is just updating that. You are going to request free, more frequent pickups. If needed, yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said so. <laughs> He's not impressed. <laughs> it happens at this stage. Pretty good. No, it's not. Can I have one? No. Tranquil? No, right now. Thank you. You can have a seat. Is there anyone who wants to speak in favor? First call? Second call? Third call? No. I have a letter here from DPW. July 28, 2017, 663-681 Hancock Street, case number Z1778. We reviewed the above reference project and have no comments. Is there anyone opposed or undecided? First call, second call, third call, close. I'll be voting fair. I think they've done everything they're supposed to do. I sat with Mr. Duke on this and uh, about the plan. He's adding 20 seats and he's doing everything right there. China don't have all these uh, things they had years ago. They've done a good job down there so far. Yeah, likewise, the, I haven't heard any complaints. No. And the only issue I had was the past one. And I just wanted to clarify that. I'm, I'll be voting a bit. Okay. Well, I agree. Can I have a motion, please? Oh, wait. Huh? I said, I agree. The place, oh. <laughs> the place has become a fabulous spot to go. It's run really well. Mm -hmm. Food's really good. Um, you know, hope the parking doesn't become a problem. It's really the only concern. Yeah, just yeah. Out there and if, if some other business were in there, the same thing would happen. Yeah, I, I agree. So I <coughs> have a motion, please. Mr. Chairman, we have a motion. 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 Mr. Chairman, regarding case number Z1737, I'm sorry, Z1778, Judy Chen for a finding to expand the restaurant 
is the retail area of the property on the premises numbered 663 to 681 Hancock Street. I'd like to make a motion to grant the requested finding. Okay. On the motion, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Nice Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Going on to tonight's agenda, new business case number Z1782. Alicia Tanny for variance to construct a deck in the front of the home in the front of the 119 Manning Ave. On behalf of the representative here. Yes, sir. Good evening. My name is Brian Deloney. I'm Alicia's fiance and I also want to. Great. Brian, relax. You have the floor. Uh, basically, we just kind of put a deck uh, five feet out uh, the, the length in the front of the house. Uh, yeah. Pretty much about a foot past the existing staircases. That's pretty much it. Just uh, retire there and enjoy the view. Huh? Exactly. And then the side, you're coming out the side, correct? Right? Yeah. The yes. Oh. Yes. Any questions? Uh, not for me. None. Nope. Thank you. You can have a seat. Is there anyone here that wants to speak in favor? In favor of this? First call, second call. Third call, close. I have a letter here from the DPW. August 1st, 2017, case number. G1782-119 minute app. We have reviewed the above reference middle and have no comments. Is there anyone opposed to the side? Opposed to the side? First call, second call. Third call, close. Nice and Julius, Jack and Julius, 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 on the motion, seeing that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Thank you. Thank you very much. Further on tonight's new business, case number Z1783. Stephen Zane, for finding to construct the sunroom over the existing first floor <coughs> foyer on the front of number 47 Newbury Ave. The African there represented the here. <coughs> Good evening, Mr. Chairman and board members. Uh, my name is Jim Chen, 730 Hancock Street, and um, I'm representing uh, the owner here, Mr. Yep. Zen. Yep. Um, Mr. Zen has lived here for the, over 20 years. Yep. And uh, he would like to propose a, a sunroom above the existing foyer. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be an on, on, uh, efficient space, no heat, no, no cooling. Um, so everything will be align with the, uh, the floor below, no extension further out than, than the original no, the floor. So you're going over the first floor with the second floor, just putting the sunroom on top? That's correct. Yeah. All right. What are you doing for the front of the building to match? Um, to match the... Uh, What's there? Currently it is fine with the side, so yes. it's continued that. Uh, what are you going to do for windows? There's windows, three windows. windows. You got three windows in there? Three windows. windows. Three in the front and two in the front. Right. No heat, no nothing? Any questions? No door. Well, there will be a door from, from the inside space. Inside space, but it's just it's just going to be built out and it's going to be like a pre-season porch, okay. right? Yeah. No heat, no nothing. No further porch. Thank you. you know, see. Thank you. Is there anyone here that likes to speak in favor? Speak in favor? Support? State name and address for record, please. My name is Helen Gaziano. I live at 39 Newburgh Avenue. I live across the street from Mr. Jen. And all I can say is he's a wonderful neighbor. If you drive by there, he has one of the most beautiful yards. And I don't see him doing any, any negative to Especially hired an architect to put a sunroom on it. What's that? Hire a guy to put a sunroom on it. Right. But he, you know, he doesn't like to talk his driveway, but it's 
just a beautiful year. Yeah, yeah. It would be a plus. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Anyone else like to speak in favor? First call, second call? First call closed. The LA from the DPW, August 1st, 2007. 17, 2017. <laughs> Flashback. It's an old one. Yeah, it's an old one. I've been doing this a long time. Frankly, yeah. Body 7, New Briere, base number Z1783. We have a view about reference mail and have no comments. Is there anyone here? Opposed or undecided? Opposed or undecided? Or First call? Here, Second call. First call closed. All these people, one person is called. <laughs> got a lot of friends. I we had an enterprise of friends yeah. or enemies. That's what we got I'm going to be voting in favor. I, I like the drama. Likewise. In favor. In favor. Looks nice. In favor. Do I have a motion, please? Mr. Chairman, regarding case number C17 83, Zay Bin Zang for a finding to construct a sunroom over the existing first floor foyer on the premises number 47 Newbury Ave. I'd like to make a motion to grant the report the requested finding. Second. On the motion. Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. On the motion, seeing that, all in favor? Yeah. Right. Opposed? Thank you, gentlemen. Charles. 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 Charles.